Hi everyone, my name is Abel Gray Kantuma. I'm from Greatest Design Consult. This is my WhatsApp contact. You can reach me on this number. You can call me on any of these numbers, okay? We've covered all of these softwares on our YouTube channel. You can visit the channel just to keep yourself busy, okay? Cover structural designs and detailings, mechanical and electrical service drawings, architectural drawings, okay? Water designs, road designs. They are very much available on that channel. Just go down below the description of this video and you'll find a link to that channel. Please visit the channel and keep yourself busy, okay? If you already love what you're seeing, please make sure you like this video and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. You see a red button written subscribe. Just click on that button and you have subscribed already. Okay. It's actually 100% free. Uh, you can see here, if I come here, I'll click on this drop down here. It gives me a drop down menu. I'll click on part based detailer. Once I click on it, uh, I can just type in part base two okay let's just give it a name you just give it a name okay and then i click on okay if i double click on this default uh you can see the concrete grid uh what grid of concrete um okay let's say i'm using 20 concrete okay cover bottom you can actually play around with this your cover the side covers and all that okay let me let me make this 25 25 25 25 and distance all of this i'm just gonna leave it okay now it's asking me reinforcement arrangements okay i want this to be singly reinforced please take note this plugin is not for design okay I state it again this plugin is not for design it's for detailing okay you must have done your design and then you have your informations based on the design you know the thickness of your reinforcement the spacing of that reinforcement and all of that okay so you now come here and impute those information in order for it to generate your detailed drawing so this would actually make your detailing much more easier and faster you can see it's a plugin on AutoCAD so these guys have actually done a very great job to make your work much more easier and much more faster like you know detailing is actually something that takes a whole lot of your time to achieve most especially when you are doing your detailing manually on AutoCAD and some of those design softwares that generate detailing for you some of those detailing may not really really come out as much as you want it to actually be okay so this will actually make your detailing much more easier uh, so you can see uh, I'm, we have two patterns of singly reinforced you can see this one here um, we have uh, the bottom bottom bar is bottom you can see this one you can see how the arrangement is this one is down we have the B1 we have the B2 okay the B1 is actually below the B2 is up uh, you can switch if we switch it to this way you can see it's actually uh, different from this uh, the first one I showed you and then if you come to doubly reinforce that means uh, you have mostly when it is uh, when you have a combined footing it will most likely be doubly reinforced definitely going to be doubly reinforced when you have a combined base okay combined base where you have two columns on one base okay uh, you can see we have different pattern of uh, doubly reinforced here uh, different pattern okay so uh, I'm going to go with the singly reinforced so I'm going to with this one okay so you can <coughs> play around with this longitudinal transverse okay so I'm going to leave them at default uh, the size of my base one two one two one two thickness of that base uh, 350 so you can see uh, from here the picture here we have is actually guiding us can even as well guide you you can see from here to here is actually your a from here to here is actually your b so that is what we have here okay so uh your c is the thickness of base which is 350 is very 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 user friendly okay so uh what is the thickness of uh, this column so uh this is 230 by 230 column and that is how i actually want it to be so uh you can see f column longitudinal offset 
uh, that's from here to here you can input an information there but you can see it's at zero i'm definitely going to leave it at zero uh, so but make sure that whatever you are doing here is actually in line with what you have in your design okay so just impute the information based on what you have in your design so if i don't want this to be a square column i can switch this and make it a circular column so you can see this is an option for a circular column but this is not a circular column if it is a circular column i want to use all i need to do is just to type in the diameter of this column here and let's say uh the diameter of this column let's say is 300 okay so uh is definitely going to give us a circular column by the time we generate our drawing so but i'm not using a circular column okay so i'll click on next so here is your reinforcement uh your b1 reinforcement which is the reinforcement which is down here and then your b2 are the ones that are spread here you can count one two three four five six seven eight okay that's the number of reinforcement based on the spacing of 150 uh so you can see it's here written here it's even written here so uh here i'm going to change this reinforcement to y12 i like to use y12 so um whatever you input your information based on like i said whatever you have in in your design but since this is y12 i think it's to most likely be 150 spacing okay uh next like i said please this is not a design please please because i get that a lot someone was asking me uh, how i did not show the design please this is not a design software this is for detailing please okay it's for detailing and if whatever information i'm imputing them from my head right now okay so i'm assuming i'm just assuming all the values i'm imputing here okay so so if i click i'll just click on draw so you can see it has generated my my plan it has generated the cross section and it has generated the cross section of this column okay so you can see this is my plan view 7 h12 at uh h12 this 22 is actually bar marker so it's just a marking okay just giving them numbers okay so uh -huh. you can see this is 22 this is 23 uh this is 25 we are supposed to even have aha uh -huh. this is 24 then here is 25 so it's just a, a numbering okay just numbering like numbering like reinforcement one reinforcement two reinforcement three like that that's what it means okay and then the 150 is actually the spacing which is if you punch that in your calculator i believe you are supposed to have up to seven so uh 1200 divided by 150 to have eight okay yeah when you take out plus uh, if you take out the concrete cover uh, 1200 minus uh, the concrete cover from the both side we have minus 50 okay so if you divide this by 150 i believe we should have point something okay 7.3333 which is approximately seven okay so that is how the seven is actually working so you know you have to definitely take out your concrete cover so if you measure from here to here i believe that's for the concrete cover it will tell you the, the cover good you know i use 25 as my concrete cover so uh that is what we have here so this this software i think is very very good i don't know about you you can let me hear your your opinions about the software you can drop that in your in the comment section uh let me hear your opinion about the software but i think this uh, plugin is actually a very great plugin that will actually make your work much more easier and faster so if i'm taking all this measurement you can see i just want to check all this measurement you can see you know for you to achieve this on autocad uh yourself oh my god can take <coughs> a whole lot of your time to actually achieve this plus the cross section and all of that so you can imagine how much time this uh plugin can actually save for you okay so if you love what you are seeing please like this video just give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel because it's actually 100 percent free just click on the bell icon in order for you to get a notification whenever i post videos i post videos like this on a weekly sometimes on a daily just to encourage as many that actually want to have a deeper insight of design okay